My name is Crystal Joseph and attending Bronx Community College was the best decision I ever made. I have many obligations in life. I am a single mother and I have to work to take care of my family, but I knew I needed an education. Community college tuition is less than public or private four-year college tuition. This was the best option for me because of the flexibility of classes I was able to work and attend college. I graduated from Bronx Community College with an associate degree which has been a life-changing experience for my family and me. I am blessed with a wonderful son and a loving supportive family. This summer I was given a creative digital story project to connect myself with someone in the Hall of Fame for Great Americans, which is located at Bronx Community College in Houses 102 Bronze Bus that honor many distinguished men and women throughout American history. As I started the research, it became harder and harder to do. The question played over and over in my head, who do I connect with in the Hall of Fame for Great Americans? Me an immigrant from Trinidad and Tobago, a single mother who works hard to try and provide the best for her son. What kind of connection will I have with someone in the Hall of Fame for Great Americans? The Hall of Fame for Great Americans is home to over 102 honorees. How could I just choose one? There are revolutionists like Thomas Paine. He came to America when all else failed in his home country, England. Here, he made a name for himself. He wrote a very famous pamphlet called Common Sense during the American Revolution. His writings inspired the American people to declare independence and motivated the people to continue to fight for what they believed in. Then, Thomas Jefferson popped into my head the third president of the United States and the author of the Declaration of Independence. The most famous words of America is written in the Declaration of Independence. These words have been used in different documents throughout American history. Abraham Lincoln uses it in his Gettysburg Address. He wrote the Gettysburg Address and redefined the Civil War as a struggle not merely for the Union but as a new birth of freedom that will bring true equality to all its citizens of America. Even Martin Luther King quoted these words in his speech, I have a dream. Martin Luther King wanted our forefathers' visions to become a reality, equality for all Americans regardless of color. These words have helped people of different race, gender, and religion fight to gain equality and freedom as citizens of the United States of America. And Booker T. Washington, who played an immense part in the education of African Americans. He established the Tuskegee Institute for African Americans. The school taught vocational training to help improve economic advancement for blacks. The Hall of Fame for Great Americans honor many people that have helped to shape America. So when I thought I did not have anything in common with the honorees in the Hall of Fame, I was wrong. Without them, my family and I would have not been able to come to America and make a better life for ourselves. Bronx Community College has opened many doors for me. I am now attending Lehman College majoring in sociology and I see all my dreams being fulfilled. This is truly the land of opportunity and without the achievements of these scientists, educators, humanitarians and artists, America would not be the place we know today.